here with GHL Growth Tools. In this video, we're going to uh, show you how to split a first and last name. Uh, we have a few um, people asking about uh, they have maybe a full name coming in from a uh, job form or a website or a gravity form or wherever they're getting their data from and they need to push it um, into uh, either a high level or whatever app they're using. Um, but for this instance, we'll give that example. Uh, so let's just say that you have a full name of John Doe coming in. Uh, and you could test this by using the tools down here. You can just use a set variable to set the variable, which we're doing here, uh, simulating how the data comes in. And then we can set multiple variables with this one using the same tab. You can add as many as you want here. Um, and we're just trying to split the first and last name because obviously it's all coming in at once here. So to do that, you can use the split function. You can get to that from the... Uh, Functions tabs up here, um, just click on, I believe it's under, yeah, the uh, this one here, uh, the binary functions, the text and binary functions, um, and you can either just use, search for the split, which is somewhere in here. I usually just type them out. There it is, split. Uh, so this is going to give you, so you need to uh, give the first... Um, uh, you need to put the full name in there from you have to hit the star button up here to get back to this to we're mapping the full name here so we're going to map that in there and then the separator uh, is going to be a space so you can use uh, space here um, you can see if this was a comma uh, then we would use comma but you can see we have a space in there or if it was a dash or on however you're getting the names come in you can just uh, set that inside of here so it's going to be a space um, and then we're going to do the same thing for the, um, and copy that for the last name. And then you want to get the first item basically. So you can type in get and put in the, um, little curl bracket there. And then you're going to use the argument here and put in one. So we get the first one again, you can get to this by, uh, these up here, but it's easier just to type them in like that sometimes. This one, we want to get the second one, and then we put in the argument here of two. And then you always want to save. Let me move this around here. I'll save that, and then we'll run this. And you can see we have the first name of John and last name of Doe. If you wanted to, if it was a middle initial or something, uh, if you knew the data was coming in like that, you can also add a third one here. It's called middle. And so the last would end up being three. And we can copy this over. And this one would be two because you want the second item after the space to give you the middle. Run that again. And we have uh, middle initial M, uh, last name Doe, and first name John. So um, you can, you don't have to use a set variable. I'm just giving this as an example. You could do this. Uh, let's just say you were adding these to go high level and you were creating a contact. Create a contact. You could totally get rid of this one, and then you would just uh, use these directly inside of the fields to save an operation, save a step, and make. Um, you can do it directly inside of here like this. And this will be two. We got rid of the middle initial. And you can just map it in directly like this to save an operation. So this would be your webhook or wherever your data is coming from, assuming that you always have a uh, first and last name with a space. Um, just map these directly in like so. So this one, you're getting the first name, getting the first item after you split it by space. And this one, you're getting the second item after splitting it by space. Hope that helps out. Uh, comment below if you have any questions.